Hi, I'm Mihaela Telecan and you are watching Healing with Foods TV, your source of nutrition and wellness information, helping you take charge of your health and happiness using real whole foods as medicine. Today's video is all about pineapple. Before I dive into, I have one question for you, actually two. Do you like pineapple? And second, do you feel intimidated when it comes to selecting a perfect pineapple and you end up buying one that is pre-cut? First, why eat pineapple? Well, I suppose first and foremost because we love the sweet taste and the refreshing cooling feeling we get after we eat. So it's a perfect summer fruit. Second, it has a high content of a digestive enzyme called bromelain. So if you have difficulties digesting your food, pineapple is one of your natural sources of digestive enzymes. So it's best if you eat it half an hour before a meal or perhaps half an hour after a meal that's harder to digest. Now, last, let's dive into how to select a good pineapple. So this is what you want to do. When you buy a pineapple, it should have a nice uniform yellow color. If it's uniform yellow color and a little on the soft side to the touch, you know it's ready for you to cut. If it still has green spots within, then you want to give it another day or two. It's not all about the color, it's also about the smell of the pineapple. What you do, you're gonna smell the pineapple at its base. If it has a beautiful pineapple perfume, you know you are going to eat a good, sweet pineapple. So that's step number one, color. Step number two, smell. Step number three, you know if your pineapple is ready, the top leaves, they easily pull up. Center there is. Conclusion, my pineapple is ready. So let's get started and cut the pineapple. I have two ways of doing this. If you have guests and you want to serve the pineapple in its skin, you will cut the pineapple halfway lengthwise all the way through the green part. And then you have half of a pineapple like a tray. And you'll see in a second how to cut it and that's how you present it to your guests. This is, if it's for you and you intend to cut it all and place it into a bowl, then you do the following thing. You take the pineapple by the base and by the green part and you twist it. Here you have the grills. Now, farmer's tip. If you plan to grow your own pineapples, if you have a garden, put this, dig a hole in the yard, place it in the hole and uh, water it. Every two to three days you want to water it. I guarantee you it's going to grow roots and you're going to grow beautiful, very sweet, tasty pineapples. Excellent. Let me know if you try it, how do you like that suggestion. Now, we're going to cut the pineapple halfway lengthwise. So what you do next, you extract the core of the pineapple. This is very acidic, it's very fibrous. I don't recommend you eat it. Then you take the knife and you go very close to the skin. Big chunk like this. Now again, when you save it to serve it to your guests, you will have the green part here. This is how you present it to your guests. It looks beautiful and impressive. So basically that's how you cut a pineapple. You store it in the refrigerator, it's great. Two, three days is still good. You can add it to your shakes, you can eat it as is, or if you have more than you wish to eat in a day or two, you can freeze it, small pieces like this, and once they're frozen, you can eat them just like that, like a popsicle, or you add them frozen to your shakes like this, you don't have to add ice. Great, I hope you enjoyed this video too. You give it a thumbs up, you share with your friends, and you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the Healing with Foods TV episodes. To receive periodic updates from me that I only send via email, go to healingwithfoods.org and put your email in the sidebar box. Thanks again and I'll catch you next week. If when you grab 